So we'll let it go up another 50 or 60 metres and uh, it'll give us a bit more pull. So, brake. Wind in. Speed controller. You only need to move one. Yeah. So just go to the middle position. Just with one. Just yeah. one. So that's dragging off. Now put that one up and that's the brake. Yep. And feed it out with a bit of power. It's on full speed. Yeah, keep it on full speed. Now just move one of them to the central position so that we can uh, see it freewheeling. So that's six to seven kilos of pull. That's the speed of freewheeling. That's the brake, and that was under a real uh, that's under gust. Pull now. Yeah. That's full speed. Yeah. Probably slower than it should be. The battery wasn't down. Yeah, the battery's a bit down, so the RPM's probably a bit slower than it should be. It's only a little tiny battery. Yeah. This is the main switch. On, off. This should always be in the on position and it's only to be used if something goes wrong with the electronic control then you can actually bypass the electronic control with this switch. This is the speed controller that's off, increasing speed The two switches on the side are forward, both up, reverse, both down. They have a middle position which puts either of these in the middle position, turns the motor off, and if the switches are opposite, the brake electronic brake is activated. Either of those positions, brake, both up forward, both down reverse, and this always down. Always connect the battery the right way around. Reverse polarity may damage the speed controller. So at the moment it's in reverse. Turn it on, speed controller. That switched to electronic brake, and that's switching just turned to neutral. In the neutral position, the real free wheels, but under quite a bit of drag. When the brake is on, it's very hard to turn. The harder you try and turn it, the more it fights. Forward. 